ओके सो थैंक यू ऑल सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग मी अगेन टुडे इन दिस जर्नी ऑफ द लास्ट ऑफ अस टू सो एली इज गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट चेक पॉइंट ऑन हॉर्स बैक सो बाय वी आर राइडिंग कैन वी थिंक अबाउट हाउ यू नो फ्लूइड डजंट फ्लो कंप्लीटली टू द फीट बिकॉज ऑफ द इफेक्ट ऑफ द ग्रेविटी एंड इट गेट्स रिटेन इन ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी स्पेशली इन द ब्रेन वी डोंट वांट टू लूज कॉन्शियसनेस एम आई राइट सो हाउ दैट हैपेंस बिकॉज the blood you know in 64% of the blood is in the veins and only 13% of the blood is in the arteries and uh, how blood gets pushed out blood gets pushed out from the blood vessel into the tissue space that is interstitial fluid then only it can enter the cells right where all the nutrition and the fluid is required for proper functioning so that happens because the blood not only contains blood cells but also plasma which contains proteins such as albumin and globulin so that along with the salts that are present in the blood minerals such as sodium potassium magnesium so all this is going to exert a pressure by itself which is the oncotic pressure so oncotic pressure is not only on the capillary side it is also in the interstitial fluid side so the tissue space where well, the fluid is going to get accumulated we don't want too much of fluid get accumulated then we we'll all be you know edematous am i right so how that gets prevented is amount of protein that is present in the blood is much more than the protein that is present in the interstitial fluid because we want the blood vessel to remain open we don't want it to get collapsed am i right okay so then what if by any chance that the fluid gets accumulated in the interstitial fluid then the body should have some kind of a defense mechanism taking care of it so what happens is the body has its own suction so what, what suction uh, uh, what plays the role of the suction is the lymphatic system so that is going to suck the excess protein excess uh, ions that is going to a fluid that is getting accumulated in the tissue space side it will get sucked by the lymphatic fluid yeah. spaces okay so then what happens to the fluid that is getting retained that how it gets retained in the connective tissue that is surrounding the cell is because of the proteoglycan which is being present in the connective tissue which is like a gel this actually acts as a channel for the fluid and the ions that is required by the cell it needs to move from the extracellular fluid to the intracellular fluid space so for that this proteoglycan is very important and that's how fluid gets retained in the brain and also at various levels and doesn't get accumulated in the feet because of the weight and the action of gravity okay but the same rules doesn't apply everywhere especially in the lungs when we are running we are exerting am i right okay. so, so two, we want to breathe in more right, oxygen guys. so the lungs yeah, have to remain one, dry and it cannot be filled with fluid so something. then any fluid that is accumulated inside the lung alveoli so should get sucked out Keep so that means here. in the lung the interstitial badass. fluid is going to contain so more protein the unlike the other parts of the body uh, so that you know the fluid gets Wait, sucked into the interstitial fluid and then the uh, lymphatic system can take its four? effect jeez So breathing in we can speak about that so yes. does all areas of the lung get activated and like oxygen gets uh, diffused into the blood no it doesn't happen it only happens intermittently at rest especially at the level of the heart and about to you know 10 cm above the level of the heart and not continuously only intermittently because the heart gets contracted the heart gets dilated in a alternating manner so when it is contracting the systolic pressure can beat the weight of the blood that is the hydrostatic pressure and it can uh, cause the blood vessel to remain open for the oxygenation to take place whereas when the heart is you know relaxing that is in the diastolic the diastolic state the diastolic pressure does not beat the weight of the hydrostatic pressure and unfortunately the oxidation doesn't take place unless we are exerting like this then you know the blood pressure is going to increase so when there is increased blood pressure it is also going to increase the diastolic pressure so then this is going to beat the hydrostatic pressure no matter what there is increased blood flow to 
all parts of the lung even to the best part of the lung which is the apex of where normally the blood flow doesn't happen here when the blood flow happens there is continuous oxygenation there is high amount of oxygenation perfusion ratio that is happening 700 to 800 percent increase in the blood flow that is awesome right so there is about three times increase in the oxygenation of the blood that's really good okay so we have found the first antibiotics there is about seven antibiotic tablets inside so how do we ration them he said there's so like what kind of infection we can expect that is the most important question so she considers this place to be a pretty neat place to live but look at it it's so dirty actually so she's accustomed to dirty living so dirty living we can think about you know crowded places where you know uh, unhygienic and uh, we can think of infection like uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis causing tuberculosis of course and uh, then there is also dirty clothes causing staphylococcal infections and also dirty places and you know sore throat is caused by streptococcal infection so what kind of antibiotics work for what kind of uh, infections uh, for example fluoroquinolones ciprofloxacin group that is you know levofloxacin is only a once daily dose for which is good for staphylococcal it is used for mycobacterial tuberculosis infections but so once daily seven tablets will definitely help in you know getting rid of any possible infections whereas uh, something like amoxicillin which is another famous antibiotic which can get rid of staphylococcal streptococcal infections uh, it requires thrice daily dosing so minimum of five days dosing 15 tablets we don't have that so we need to get more of them for that thank you so much for joining today so i will continue the next episode i'll see you then